Well, if you're feeling all right and you think you're on, I should thought they let me know. Well, everybody in the place put a whistle in your face. Scream it out and say, yo, hey. You don't stop. I write the rhythm that makes your finger pop. I said, uh, hip hop, but thanks a lot. Uh, come on, everybody, give me what you got. There's an anxious feeling going around New York that the city might be in danger of slipping into the bad old days, the 70s and 80s, a time of crime, blight, and decay. But there's a movie from those times, a 1982 documentary called Style Wars by Tony Silver and Henry Chalfant, that suggests that not everything in those days was so bad, that there were even some things in New York City that were beautiful. You know it, tell them we all live. This is the original old master killer of the Manila Thriller right here that you're looking at. The original <laughs> king and loves to do his thing. Star Wars pulses with energy, which doesn't just come from the hip-hop soundtrack or the noise of the streets. It's a matter of the filmmaker's skill and dexterity in weaving together disparate elements of documentary style. <laughs> For one thing, there are breathtaking shots of subway trains festooned with brightly colored graffiti moving across the cityscape. There's also a dry, somewhat didactic voiceover that recalls the glory days of Canadian educational television. In the 1970s, New York graffiti, rapping, and breaking became the prime expressions of a new young people subculture called hip-hop. There are interesting interviews in this movie, a lot of them, but you don't really get the sense of watching a whole bunch of talking heads. Instead, because of the handheld camera work and the real sense of character that emerges from these people, you get a strong feeling of being there, of being in this moment, in this subculture, in this city. Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? The filmmaker's sympathies clearly lie with the young people who are spray painting empty walls and subway cars, but the movie does do its best to give both sides of the controversy. Is that an art form? I don't know, I'm not an art cr critic, but I can sure as hell tell you that that's a crime. But the movie doesn't over-dramatize this argument or take itself too seriously, making grand statements about what graffiti means in society. Instead, it's interested in the people who make this, who practice this art form, in why they do it, in how they do it, in what it means to them. A lot of trains, a lot of fun, a lot of art. Art that's going to be a part of New York City's history forever. These kids, who come from all different racial and economic backgrounds, are not motivated by a desire for money. Instead, they want to make their mark on the city they live in and transform it into their canvas, into a work of art in its own right. And Style Wars is a work of art in its own right, too, because it doesn't just record what these artists are doing. It somehow absorbs their spirit and manages to communicate it across the decades so that we can find ourselves, so many years later, back in that city, understanding what made it beautiful.